Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Carrier Deck. I say welcome back because this is actually my second attempt to record a Let's Play. My first time through, it started okay, and then for some reason my graphics card and recording software decided, nah, we don't want to capture at 60 FPS anymore, and then things got real shitty, and I couldn't get a Mac, so... But now I have a new graphics card, so I should be able to record uh, 4K 60 FPS perfectly now for this at least, so... We're going to give this another try. Um, let's start with the North Atlantic Campaign. Certification, basic training. Fielding aircraft, launching aircraft, and landing aircraft. So, um, before we get into that, this is a game by Every Single Soldier. I believe that's the same developer behind titles like um, uh, Vietnam 64, I want to say? And Afghanistan 11, uh, which those are good games, you should check them out. It's published by Slytherin, which is also published or participated in helping games like, um, publishing games like, uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, which is like the only good Battlestar Galactica game out there, and, um, uh, Command Modern Air Naval Operations, which is another great, um, uh, well, that one I would just call a military simulator, but in this game we will be taking command of CVN-76, the USS Ronald Reagan, and I think now we can just get into the game, so we will start with the mandatory tutorial, which is certification basic training, fueling aircraft, launching aircraft, landing aircraft, and uh, let's start. Alright. Welcome aboard, Commander. The crew is ready and waiting for you to take us through the military training exercises. First things first, let's get our aircraft fueled. Click and hold your cursor over the aircraft to show the action menu and then click the refuel icon to get the crew to fuel it. So we'll do that. The rotating icon above the aircraft indicates that the deck crew are on their way to the aircraft. Once they are there, the icon will fill according to their progress. So we see we have a Legacy Hornet here, we have this one poor guy feeling our Hornet, which um, Legacy Hornet, probably a Marine Operator, uh, Marines Operating, we have a VM-151, mirrored for some reason, I'm guessing that's a texture groove. Great, the aircraft is ready to go. Select it and move it to one of the four catapults on the deck to get it ready for launch. And it looks like a D Hornet from the, uh, is it a D? Yeah, I think it's a D because it's three ca three piece canopy. So now we are now ready to launch the aircraft. Click the arrows that appear in front of it to launch it. So ah uh, yes, we have our uh, escort here that does. This is the launch box. All missions must all missions have to be queued before launch. We have uh, four. A mission can be removed from the launch box queue by selecting the mission and then aborting it. We have three Tycho's and an RLA Burke class destroyer escorting us. This is the radar display used to track all your aircraft as well as all enemy threats. And we see we have a supply ship following us. This is the landing box where all of your aircraft appear when coming in to land. The top half is for fixed wing aircraft and the bottom for vertical takeoff aircraft. A supply class I would guess, so I'd have to look that up. Uh, we see point defense, a uh, hand sea sparrow missile launcher, phalanx cannon, another phalanx cannon. The aircraft has reached the landing queue, it needs to be cleared for landing. The aircraft will land automatically when it reaches the end of the queue, but you can land it before that. Click on the aircraft and then click on the moving arrows on the runway to land it. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Another phalanx, another hand sea sparrow missile. Uh, the Reagan is actually one of the, the, I believe, the first of the Flight 3 Nimitz class carriers. And basically, the biggest difference is on Flights 1 and 2, they have a, uh, like, a radar, you know, like a little radar tower here separate from the primary. You can scroll the screen left and right by either moving your mouse to the left and right hand sides of the screen or using the A and D keys. Yay. Victory, all missions completed, park your aircraft to continue. So actually that frees up this slot here for uh, aircraft parking. Uh, but they, I believe this is, they basically moved it onto the island. So it makes it 
teeny, teeny tiny bit stealthier, I guess. With Looks like they almost use composites or something there. Which, uh, you know, obviously you aren't going to hide a carrier or even mask it well, but you can slightly reduce the range of which you detect it. I'd like to know what these are. I do like, you know, they have this to signal. Uh, that's what pilots use to, you know, kind of help line themselves up. Um, but yeah, that's the nice crane there. That's the uh, first mission, so I think we're going to... Congratulations, you've completed your first landing. Let's see if they've got anything else for us. After the aircraft has come to a complete stop, select the aircraft and then click on any of the highlighted icons to park it and end this assignment. I guess we can't make it go away. So, yeah, this is going to be a very short video, just the uh, first tutorial mission. So, now we can complete the level. Victory, North Atlantic 1, certification, basic training, 5 star rating. You have reached a new rank seaman apprentice. So, as you can see, it's a very casual game um you know it's kind of a hybrid between um a time management sim and a sort of tower defense sim in a sense in that you have you know the three different lanes and you gotta you know send the right aircraft to destroy the targets and stuff so that'll be it for this time stay tuned next time for certification search missions and thank you all for watching and we'll see you then